I bought me a cat, the cat pleased me, I fed my cat on the yonder tree, the cat went fiddle I fee, fiddle I fee. I bought me a hen, the hen pleased me, I fed my hen on the yonder tree, the hen went chipsy chopsy, cat went fiddle I fee. Welcome to Baby and Toddler Time. I'm Lisa Springer, Children's Librarian at the Kate Waller Barrett Branch of the Alexandria Library, and this is Baby. And today we're going down on the farm. We're going to read one of my favorite books about farm animals. We're going to sing about farm animals. And we're even going to do a little bit of square dancing. Are you ready for all that? Baby and I are. Here we go. You probably know this little piggy. This little cow is a variation on that, and it's perfectly fine to do it on fingers, but it's even better on toes. This is one of those that you use when your baby or your toddler is lying on their back. Maybe they're having their diaper changed, or maybe you're just playing. This little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow drinks water. This little cow runs away. But this little cow does nothing but lie in the sun all day. So we'll chase her, we'll chase her, we'll chase her away. If you do a rhyme like this over and over, your child will learn to anticipate that last part. This little cow eats grass. This little cow eats hay. This little cow drinks water. This little cow runs away. But this little cow does nothing but lie in the sun all day. So we'll chase her, we'll chase her, we'll chase her away. This little piggy is fun too, of course, but it's nice to have a variation. Well done, everybody. Let's ride across the fields in a little red wagon. When we do this song at the library and we have a whole bunch of friends here, we sing everybody's name. At home, you can put in the names of your family members. That's what I'm going to do today. Are you ready? Here we go. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Who's going riding in a little red wagon? Who's going riding in a little red wagon? Who's going riding in a little red wagon? Won't you be my darling? Who's at your house today? Sarah's going riding in my little red wagon. Julia's going riding in my little red wagon. Bruce is going riding in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? We're gonna go up and down the hills up and down in a little red wagon up and down in a little red wagon up and down in a little red wagon won't you be my darling we're going to come to the top of a high hill now you can slide down just like this or maybe on somebody's knee you can go like this we're going down the hill and around the corner down the hill and around the corner, down the hill and around the corner. Won't you be my darling? Oh no, do you know what happened? When we got to the bottom of the hill, there was a rock. We didn't see it till it was too late and we hit the rock. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? I need your help. Can you help me fix that wagon? Grab your hammer and let's fix it like this. Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna fix it with my hammer. I'm gonna fix it with my hammer. I'm gonna fix it with my hammer. Won't you be my darling? You fixed it. We can ride all the way across the farm now. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? You did some good riding on the farm in your little red wagon. Another day, we'll do another version of the song. It's called Little Red Rowboat. But today, we're on the farm. And it's time to read one of my 
favorite books about farm animals? Anytime someone asks me for some suggestions for some authors that are really good for one and two year olds that are just starting to sit and listen to a story, I almost always give them a book by Nancy Tafuri. I really like this one in particular because it involves your child in a guessing game. What has spots? And then on the next page, you see the animal in full. And seeing a full view of the animal across a two-page spread is really, really good when you're trying to hold your child's attention. This is called Spots, Feathers, and Curly Tails by Nancy Tafuri. Spots, Feathers, and Curly Tails by Nancy Tafuri. A horse! A horse has a mane, and so does its baby. And they both say, Nay! Let's do another one. What has a bill? That long orange bill. What do you think that is? Oh, yeah! A duck has a bill. There are two of them there, in fact. And I bet you they're saying, Quack, 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 quack. Let's do another one. What? has horns. Oh my goodness, those are long horns, aren't they? Let's see who has those horns. Let's turn the page. A bull has horns. That's a big daddy cow. He doesn't just say moo, he says a great big moo. Can you do it? Moo, moo. Well done. On the farm, in the country. And that's the end. This is Spots, Feathers, and Curly Tails by Nancy Tafuri. She has lots more books on the shelf. One you might be particularly familiar with is called Have You Seen My Duckling? We have that one both in the board books and the hardcovers right here at the Alexandria Library. We're going to do this rhyme two ways. First, we're going to do it as a spoken rhyme, and then we're going to do it as a sung rhyme. The tune we're going to use is Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush. There are about five or six basic kids songs, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Mary Had a Little Lamb, a few like that, that you can use for just about any kid's game you play. So here is the spoken version of this. This is the way the farmers ride. Jiggity job, jiggity job, jiggity job, jiggity job. This is the way the ladies ride. Trick, trot, trick. And this is the way the gentlemen ride. Gloop, 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 gloop. Yeah, it's fun that way, but it's even more fun if you sing it. And the lady I learned this version from added cowboys at the end and cowgirls, which I think makes it even better. Like this. This is the way the farmers ride, the farmers ride, the farmers ride. This is the way the farmers ride so early in the morning. This is the way the ladies ride, the ladies ride, the ladies ride. This is the way the ladies ride so early in the morning. This is the way the gentlemen ride, the gentlemen ride, the gentlemen ride. This is the way the gentlemen ride so early in the morning. Now we have cowboys and cowgirls. This is the way the cowboys ride, the cowgirls ride, the cowboys ride. This is the way the cowgirls ride so early in the morning. Yahoo! You can add some other things to that if you like, but I think it works just fine just like that. Well done, everybody, both ways. This is a super song for bouncing your baby or toddler, but bigger kids can bounce along to it too and help you make the animal noises. It goes under many names, but its most familiar is when ducks get up in the morning. So we'll do it that way today. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Quack, 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 quack. That is what they say, they say. Quack, 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 quack. That is what they say. Ooh, more animals. You know, you don't have to have puppets for this. They, they add to the fun on camera or in a group, but at home you can just Come up with the animals you like to make their noises of. Here's my friend Lambert. He's a sheep. And you know what he's going to say? I bet you know. Let's see if you know. 
When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Ba, 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 that is what they say, they say. Ba, 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 that is what they say. More? How about a cow? Because you can't have a really good farm without a cow. At least I don't think you can. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Moo, 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 that is what they say, they say. Moo, 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 that is what they say. I am very well known for my excellent ability to make chicken sounds. Are you good at chicken sounds? is a mama chicken, a hen. When hens get up in the morning, they always say good day. When hens get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Cluck, 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 that is what they say, they say. Cluck, 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 that is what they say. And I can't do a farm song or just about any animal song without having the dogs. They're very popular in Old Town Alexandria and other places. So, truth to tell, I'm more a cat person myself. Here they are, and they can make any dog noises you like to make. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Roof, 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 that is what they say, they say. Ruff, that is what they say. And there are lots more animals. They don't even have to be farm animals. What can you do with this song? Did they do a good job? Good job, everybody. Yay! We're gonna do a little bit of square dancing and you can have a partner riding on your hip or holding your hand or just walking next to you, however they like to do this. The tune is Turkey in the Straw. The performance is by Fox and Branch. Now don't worry that you don't know the steps because I'm the caller. But pretty much all we're going to do is walk, stop, clap our hands, stamp our feet, and turn around. Oh yeah, we'll also walk in, hi, and walk out. Goodbye. And in the middle of the song, we're going to change directions because that's good for building brain cells in so many different ways and encouraging balance. So here we all go. Everybody dance. It's time for some turkey in straw. Well 
done. Thank you so much for watching today. Baby and I have to go right now, but we hope we'll be seeing you back here on YouTube next week. And better still, we hope we'll be seeing you at the library where we have so many wonderful books for you to enjoy. We love you. Bye. The cow went, ooh, ooh. The sheep went, bah, The dog went, bah, bah. The goose went, quack, quack. The duck went, slishy, sloshy. Hen went, chipsy, chopsy. Cat went, a fiddle-idee. Fiddle-a-fee.